we need a permanent ceasefire in Gaza. I wrote to the Prime Minister some time ago about this, and my feelings are now exactly the same. We need a permanent ceasefire in Gaza. I was one of the first members of Parliament to call for the release of hostages combined with a permanent ceasefire. I lost my government job as a result of it. I was also, also because people misrepresented my uh, position, I, someone suggested on social media that they should show my wife a real man. Someone also suggested that they would attack me and my family. Already today, Labour councillors in my patch are tweeting that I have not supported a ceasefire. I wanted to vote with a Scottish National Party motion on a ceasefire. Can you advise how I can make my constituents clear of my views if I'm not able to vote on it? This is one of the major international issues of our time. I've got people from Gaza living in my constituency and when they come to tell me about their families being killed, about their homes being destroyed, if there's one thing that keeps me up at night, as a member of parliament, it's speaking to those people and, and hearing those stories. And that's why I called for a permanent ceasefire in Gaza and I will continue to do so as long as I'm a member of parliament. People who have done nothing wrong but see their homes destroyed and people who see bombs landing on their homes and in their communities, the revulsion that ordinary Muslims in places like Peterborough uh, feel about this cannot be understated. This morning he sent me a text informing me that his family home was destroyed three, year, three days ago and he's heard nothing from his family since. How much longer do we have to wait until this suffering ends and humanitarian aid can reach people like my constituents' family? We need to give peace a chance permanently.